With Cooper gone, the Undine won't have a leader pushing them toward war with our forces. I wonder why he was so set on this conflict. We still don't know exactly how long Cooper had been replaced by an Undine, or if the original Cooper is still alive. Perhaps this Undine saw something during his time among us that convinced him that the only way to secure the safety of his people was to destroy ours. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Remember the Zindi attack on Earth in the 22nd century? They were told by the Sphere Builders that they had to destroy Earth to save themselves. It turned out that Sphere Builders were using the Zindi as a tool in their own destructive plans. We know the Iconians have manipulated the Undine. Maybe they were the ones pushing Cooper to attack. Congratulations, Admiral.
Our first task in the Delta Quadrant is a familiar one, helping a species to find a new home. A group of Talaxians living in the Entaba system are ready to move to a new homeworld nearby. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to their main asteroid base to begin the preparations for the transition. The Admiral's requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. There's no one who knows more about the Delta Quadrant than he does. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline, requesting assistance. time to make repairs. However, I have a personal request. The leader of the Talaxian colony served with me on Voyager. Would you be willing to take me there? This base is populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time. And now, they have found one. The Alliance's history with the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. Starfleet! A 
Wow, what a thrill! It's so wonderful to see someone from the Federation again. It's been so long, and, and, and I keep in touch with my friends, but subspace isn't the same, and I... As you listen to me, I'm rambling on. My name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Catherine Janeway. Admiral Janeway? Of course! She certainly earned that promotion. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be, until the Janolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, but yours is the first ship to visit. I, uh, I may make a trip to Earth myself sometime, sample the cuisine, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's just so much to do. Oh, you've come to help. How wonderful. I... But of course, Starfleet's always pitching in to help out, aren't they? Why, in all my years as ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, I've done everything I could to uphold the good name of the Federation. I don't always have the resources to do more than diplomatic visits, but we try to help out anyone we can, whenever we can. There are Okapan ships out there right now. Did you know that? My people are helping them explore the stars. Where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first. The case on Mr. have been giving us a lot of trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the case on keep knocking them offline and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? Wonderful! Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nicely old root stew for you. much for your assistance. You may beam down to our base at your leisure. Oh, and speaking in my formal capacity as permanent ambassador, welcome to the Delta Quadrant. So good to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. 
It is agreeable to see you again, Neelix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss. You look well, Neelix. As do you, family, children. Being here has changed me for the better. Indeed. This colony is an improvement on your previous home. Twice as large and completely updated. You should see the kitchen. But you still seek a new homeworld? Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put their roots. What was that? The operations bay? Dexter was in there! Is trapped. Please do something. Dex is a little dizzy, but she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her, though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I can't help fix them just now. Several of our systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships all have been damaged.
thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Would you care to accompany me? loading this ship. Menex was supposed to help me, but now I can't find him, and I can't reach him on internal comms. I know he hasn't left the station yet, though. Could you look around and tell him that his shift has started? The lack of discipline among the Talaxians is alarming. Greetings, friend. Uh, what can I do for you? Really? I was scheduled to work now, but I traded shifts with Oxel, so I could meet a friend who's returning from a long trading mission. Find Oxel. He should be able to help you. I've known Menix for many years now. If he says he traded shifts, I believe him. I, I don't believe we've met yet. I'm Oxel, and you must be one of Neelix's visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. It's a pleasure to meet you. Th that's right, but then I beat Drexa in a game of Cot is Cot, and she agreed to work the shift for me. You should find her. Betting work shifts on a game of Cot is Cot is extremely unprofessional. Hi there. I I'm Drexa. I heard you help save Dexa's life. Those Kazon are always bothering us. I wish they'd just find someplace else to go. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, yes, that's right. I worked his shift, though. Check the duty roster. It should all be there. Drexa never worries about the details, but she's one of the nicest people I know. It's you again. Did you find what you needed? Really? Uh, but I worked the shift that was in the duty roster. Uh, did you find Drexa? What a goof! I told her I traded shifts with Menex. At, at least I think I did. Does that mean both Menex and Drexa showed up for my shift? Hey there! I talked to Oxel. And he told me what happened. Did you find Drexa? Oh, that explains it. I showed up for the shift a bit late, but Kallax said she already had enough workers and I could go back to my quarters. Normally, I would be happy to work, but my friend will be back any time now. That's why I traded shifts in the first place. Did you find Menex? Sounds like quite a series of miscommunications. But I still need help here. What do you think I should do about it?
Did you find Menex? Sounds like quite a series of miscommunications. But I still need help here. What do you think I should do about it? to scan the route we'll take to the colony. But the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. Would you be willing to help me? By adjusting the sensor array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, left and right, you can point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will be useless if that happens. I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctors say she'll be up and around in no time. I need to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxians have much to do. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then, live long and prosper. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join us in our new adventure. Are you 
ready to depart for New Talax? Unknown vessel, this site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own dump site. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet.
Ship. At least spare my life. The Malon are gone, but the radiation is still around. Oh, what can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if the radiation is going to affect the entire planet. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for all of your help. You are a true friend to me and to the Talaxian people. Your crew will always be welcome on Utalix. And good luck in your voyages. I hope to see you again soon. The Malons were causing problems? Hmm, I'll make a note of that. Hopefully they'll just be a minor inconvenience. Admiral Janeway wasn't very impressed by them. Neelix has sent word that the migration of the Talaxians is going smoothly. We've sent several ships to ensure they're protected from any more Malon incursions. Our first venture into the Delta Quadrant appears to be a success. Congratulations, Admiral. We've received a distress call from the USS Callisto, which was on a research mission in a little explored area of the Delta Quadrant. We're not sure what happened to the Callisto, but we need someone to check it out. There are a lot of people on the Callisto, good Starfleet officers and researchers. Bring them home.
This is Seven of Nine, part of the Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost's defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. Long-range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Attention trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth-aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world.
Bomb facility and will be. Where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Ture homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require... The Ture are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the Underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the Underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. We have arrived in the Terray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging to ray vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. Whatever these assailants are, the technology is exceptional. Even the Borg do not have ships such as these.
The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the death. The surface of the Tere homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Tere do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. There was a firefight here. One of the Tere is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet, right? The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls, and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. You are not to Ray. I cannot reveal our secrets! If I may. Underspace is a network of subspace corridors that extend through much of the Delta Quadrant. Voyager was pulled into one when its warp field interacted with the corridor's radial wall. At the time, we speculated that the corridors would speed our journey back to Federation space. That was not possible. The attackers were Vodwar! Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault. Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I... I would know. This... this is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vodwar, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader in a moment of curiosity. I didn't know their history. Conquerors. Despots. The Vodwar used underspace to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together that they were defeated. At the time we encountered them, when I... when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. But it wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. However, the Vodwar we encountered did not have a level of technology like what we face here. This is far beyond anything the Vodwar are capable of developing in such a short amount of time. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. Go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence.
We had to ally ourselves with the Terei to escape the Vadwar. When Admiral Tuvok asked me to leave my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Galicia, I thought the probability of seeing the Vardwar would be particularly easy. Whatever happens here, we must inform our superiors. I have completed about the my Vodwar analysis. Threat. Complete the following steps in the correct order. First, you must access the AI subroutines. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic dampers. Finally, you must align the main relay. Analysis complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. First, you must access the AI subroutines. Next, you must charge the capacitive relays.
Finally, you must align the main relay. Node online. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. I blame myself for the Vaudoir's return. It was a door best left unopened. Complete these steps in the correct order to initialize and align the node. First, you must launch the startup sequencers. Next, you must charge the capacitive relays. Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. Link Analysis of this node is complete. Execute the follow up first. You must reboot the core matrix. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic dampeners. Finally, you must align the main relay. Connection reestablished. Starfleet, I need assistance at the central tower.
Your team did an excellent job getting the defense notes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense grid. The Jure took control of Underspace after the Vodwar were defeated. Clearly the Vodwar object. Vodwar reinforcements approaching. Vodwar are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. Tenacious fighters, we must be more. Reinforcements have entered orbit. These Vardwar do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrae. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. Seven of nine. Admiral? We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! 
Your ship invaded the Voth outpost. You woke the Vardwar. Vardwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believed their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vardwar have returned, and no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Voyager, two to beam up. Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Ture. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vod... Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vodwar. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat. I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. It would be troublesome enough to have the Vadwa return in force. They're an aggressive and difficult species. But if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Voth, this does not bode well. Congratulations, Admiral. Are you familiar with Voyager's emergency medical hologram? Is quite unique, even for an old EMH Mark I. Now he holds rank in Starfleet in his own right. We've received a message that the doctor requires assistance to deal with a medical situation on an Ocampo freighter in the Shenda system. He's currently en route in one of Voyager's shuttles. Normally I'd send a medical vessel, but we've seen a spike in Vadwa attacks, and I want to make sure he has all the resources he'll need. Could you go to the Shenda system and assist the doctor?
Resistance detected. You have reached with zero, zero, four, seven, nine, or ten. Engaging now.
Torpedo launch now. 